in the America before 1980, when America still had manufacturing industries, whether steel or rubber or brass, you know, and lots of people could get stable jobs, if the change in the American economy this last generation and a half has made access to higher education more important now than it was when Bob was a young man, is the pricing of American higher education such that it's really throwing a boomerang at young people uh, where if they do obtain access, they're going to be graduating with a loan burden uh, that, especially in the current uh, job market, uh, could lead people to rationally wonder, uh, what's the trade-off here? Is it worth incurring uh, this sort of debt for an uncertain future? It's a great question. It's the number one question in higher education today is the sustainability of the economic model. Currently today, Americans have over $600 billion in debt from loans that they've taken to pay for their college, college experience. And, and I mean, it, it, that's insane, right? We're thinking of it as a bubble right now. And, and a college today that costs forty or $50,000 in, in the next nine years is going to cost ninety thousand dollars a year. Any parents in the room <laughs> worrying a they little just bit? Fainted. Yeah, a few fainting over there. Um, so it's a great question, and it's one that our, our institutions of higher education are thinking about. We've got a huge crisis, huge, huge crisis, because you're looking at um, a college education as more important than it's ever been, ever before. It's your ticket to a job, and the more education you have the more money you will make in the workforce. Right. And yet, when you look at who's getting access to higher education, you start to worry. It's scary when you look at it. If you look at the top 150 colleges and universities in the United States, the top 150 schools, 74% of their student body come from the top economic quartile. 74%. We need young people <laughs> And we need people from the community to take a stand, to shout, to be loud, to write blogs, to be out there so that we can hear viewpoints that aren't expressed through our traditional channels. All Demand that those doors of opportunity be forced open again. We have a generation of young people. I know they're smarter than I was when I was 17, 18 years old. And they will thrive. If you open the door, I actually think all you got to do is open that door a little bit of a crack because there's <laughs> a lot of energy out there, man. I would say stand back if you open that door a crack because that stampede will come at you and get you.